businessman who's been waging a public war on Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan is now facing criminal charges. Seven investigator Ross Jones is live in the newsroom with the latest turn in this bizarre saga. Ross. Keena, good afternoon. Bob Carmack has made some powerful enemies over the last several months, and now he is facing some very serious charges, we've learned. According to sources, prosecutors are pursuing one charge of false pretenses of $100,000 or more and three charges of uttering and publishing a document affecting real property. Now, that is all a mouthful, but here's what it means. The charges we have learned stem from a property on Melville Avenue in Detroit along the riverfront that Carmack says he was properly deeded by the city of Detroit in 2007. He then sold the property two years ago for a $1 million profit. But the city has long maintained that Carmack had committed fraud in obtaining the property's deed, and he shouldn't have been able to sell it for a penny, much less than a million dollars. These criminal charges are related to that alleged fraud. Now, Carmack has been embroiled in legal battles with the city of Detroit dating back years. You'll remember last month he started a publicity tour of sorts meant to embarrass Mayor Mike Duggan when he released video from a private investigator showing the mayor coming and going from a home in Novi where another woman also lived. Duggan said Carmack was trying to bully him into settling his lawsuits with the city and asked Michigan State Police to investigate. Now, no charges have been issued related to that investigation, but these pending charges are very real. Carmack has not yet been arraigned. I spoke with him just a few minutes ago by phone. He said he had no comment. I also spoke with his attorney, who declined to make any statements. We'll continue to monitor this breaking story on air and online. Uh, for now, we're live in the newsroom. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Ross. Uh, I don't think we've heard the last of that story no or of Robert Carmack. All right.